Let's just sew whatever. Everybody, happy Wednesday. Actual Wednesday, not like Monday when I said it was Wednesday because it was Wednesday when I filmed. But it's actually Wednesday when I'm filming and it's going to go up. Um, so I'm doing a little unboxing of mail that I've gotten uh, today, actually. Um, so in the mail, I got the last of my Arteza art supply order. Um, so I got these fabric markers that are pretty awesome. And someone actually commented on the last video that I did that they actually use these to mark the edges of cork and um, if they like mess up a little bit. So I was like, huh, that is not a bad idea. So these are double ended. It looks like there is a thicker end and a thinner end. So I'm just gonna try this along the edge of this brown vinyl here really quick. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll show you like before and during technically. Um, so I'm just taking the fat end and dragging it along the edge here. And I actually was looking through their Instagram and I saw like a jacket that someone did with all fabric markers. And I was like, those look pretty amazing. So I think I'm going to try and do um, like a fun project where I draw something on fabric and then turn it into something. Um, but I am working on a bunch of Lola's and plan to create like some fun edges to them. Edges, um, little accent pieces. So I may have to kind of plan accordingly to these fabric markers because these are so cool. So of course, if you're working with leather or something, you can use um, water, or no, Eco Flow Edge Coat, um, and that works really well, but I'm not going to lie to you, this looks pretty cool. Um, and these are permanent fabric markers, so they should withstand, um, hmm. So place a pad underneath the fabric to prevent bleed through. Let the finished drawing dry for six hours and then iron the reverse side of the fabric at 107 degrees for five minutes. So that is pretty cool. Um, wash fabric in warm water. That's cool. So obviously I can't really wash vinyl that well, but you can see that the edge, well minus that, looks pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm excited to try these out. Um, and then I do have a code with them. It's just Lauren Mormino one and that gets you 10% off until I believe February 24th, but the links will be down below. Um, they are affiliate links, so I make a small portion of each sale. Also, this lighting is terrible and I look like I have a mustache, so please hold. Is it better? No. We'll just pretend I have a mustache, whatever. Um, so the next thing I got are these um, brush tip fine tipped markers. I have the larger version. This is the smaller version, so I'm really excited. I think I'm going to play with them tonight a little bit, creating fabrics. Um, but these are so fun. So fun. So again, I get a small portion of any sales with you use that affiliate code. Um, or you can choose not to. That's, that's up to you. Um, so this is a shirt that I ordered from lookhuman.com. I'm really excited for. I debated on ordering it for a while. Mm, it doesn't feel great. That's a bummer. Oh, and it looks awful too. Even better. Um, <laughs> I had to. So I play Animal Crossing in my spare time, so very rarely. Um, but I saw this on there and I just had to had to get it, but I'll be contacting them because the design feels disgusting and the shirt feels even worse, so that's great. Let's move on to the next thing, which will be a fun one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that lighting was just not working for me. Um, so this next one is from Bo Dio. I'm so excited. I love it, it says, open me. It's so time. So cute. Um, so I did an unboxing of some of her vinyls a little while ago and you guys blew her up and she had no idea. So she, she sent me an email a few weeks ago with a really sweet note and a gift certificate. So 
I was like, never necessary, but highly appreciated. Um, so I actually grabbed a ton of different stuff and I'm gonna be giving away half of it because I'm, I'm like, you guys are the ones that supported her and blew her up. So give back to you. Um, but I pretty much rated all of the faux leathers because those are my favorite so far from her website. So I'm gonna try and read these out to you. I'm gonna find my packing slip in this giant box of goodies. Um, so this was a hundred, like almost a hundred dollars worth and there is so much here, like seriously, so many rolls. And like, they're the perfect size. That's my favorite thing about it, is they're the perfect size. So I'm looking here, I don't, I don't think I see a packing slip. I may have missed it on the other side. So I'm not gonna be able to really tell you guys the names, so I apologize, but with her pricing, it's not gonna hurt for you to just grab some if you like the color. Um, so this one's pretty thin. I will need to interface it, but it's a really pretty, like metallic purple almost. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll be giving one of these away because I grabbed two. Um, this video is not the giveaway, but I will be doing a separate video for a giveaway soon. Not sure when. Um, so I got another one of these dark blue faux leathers. And this one is so pretty. It's like a pale gray periwinkle color almost. It's really pretty. Also, her listings are very descriptive. So um, if you're unsure of the weight or the backing, she's very good about notating it. Um, so it looks like I grabbed another one of those light blues to do a giveaway. And the pieces are so long that you can make um, you can get your crossbody strap out of it as well as probably a wallet and the bag itself. So can't go wrong with the one. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, so this is like a very cool toned purpley brown. I'll turn the light back on. We'll see if we can get these colors some uh, justice. <laughs> oh yeah, so pretty. Let's see what else is in this roll. Um, these came nicely rolled, but my excitement is preventing me from keeping them that way. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So it has this really fun distressed texture. It's got a nice um, thickness to it. It is like a faux leather backing. Oh, this one's pretty too. This is like a deep navy color. So pretty. I'm definitely going to be using some of these on those Lolas that I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm going to like dig through and find some fun matches. So there's that purple, purpley cool tone brown I showed you. And like, I think these are a great size for storage, especially if you're beginning bag making and you don't want to buy a ton of stuff or a ton of yardage. Um, so I replaced this one that I purchased before. Um, it's like a pebbled metallic vinyl. It does have a bit of a fuzzy backing, but nothing too terribly fuzzy. Mm. Okay, so we'll just skim through these. This is another pretty blue. Oh, I think this one's a duplicate for a giveaway. This textured red is really fun, and I actually like the way it feels. Mm. I love this color. It's like a nice sage. And that one might be one of the marine vinyls. Maybe not. Um, and then another textured vinyl. It actually feels really nice. I sometimes get worried when they say textured vinyls because um, you can't feel it through the screen. So you're not sure how it's gonna feel, but I don't think I've had a bad one yet. Oh, this one is so cool. So this is similar to that like metallic pebbled look, but it's a smooth finish and it feels really nice. So this one's a little bit thinner as you can see, but with interfacing, it would be fine. It's got a little bit of a stretch to it. 
but a nice texture. Mm. This is probably one of my favorites so far too. It's a really pretty green. There's another like purpley brown color. It's so pretty. So I, I did grab two of those. Hey, oh, so that I can do a giveaway with it. Um, but yeah, that's everything that's in the box. I think there were like 20 different colors I ordered. So you guys check it out. The links will be below, but just in case this is how you spell it. Um, but that's it for me. That's everything I got in the mail today. Um, let me know what you've purchased recently or something you got in the mail that you're really excited about. And I will see you guys later. Bye.